Welcome to video 2 for this unit on scale drawings. In this video, we're going to focus on more about scale factor. The size of the scale factor affects the size of the scaled copy. When a figure is scaled by a scale factor greater than 1, the copy is larger than the original. When the scale factor is less than 1, the copy is smaller. When the scale factor is exactly 1, the copy is the same size as the original. For example, triangle DEF is a scaled copy of triangle ABC. Triangle DEF is larger because the scale factor from ABC to DEF is 3 halves, which is greater than 1. Triangle ABC is also a scaled copy of triangle DEF. Triangle ABC is smaller because the scale factor from DEF to ABC is two-thirds, which is less than one. This means that triangles ABC and DEF are scaled copies of each other. It also shows that scaling can be reversed using reciprocal scale factors, such as two-thirds and three-halves. Dividing one by a number gives the reciprocal of that number. Scaling affects lengths and areas differently. When we make a scaled copy, all the original lengths are multiplied by the scale factor. For example, here is a rectangle with side lengths 2 units and 4 units. If we make a copy of this rectangle using a scale factor of 3, the side lengths of the copy will be 6 units and 12 units. Each side length in the copy is three times as long as the corresponding side length in the original rectangle. But what about the area? The area of the original rectangle is 8 square units because 2 times 4 equals 8. The area of the scaled copy is 72 square units because 6 times 12 equals 72. This is 9 times the area of the original rectangle. Why did that happen? The area of the copy changes by the square of the scale factor. In this example, the scale factor was 3. 3 times 3, or 3 squared equals 9, so the area of the copy will be 9 times the area of the original. We can see that the large rectangle could be covered by 9 copies of the smaller rectangle, without any gaps or overlaps. Lengths are one-dimensional, so in a scaled copy, they change by the scale factor. Area is two-dimensional, so it changes by the square of the scale factor. We can see this is true for any rectangle. With length L and width W, the area is L times W. If we scale the rectangle by a scale factor of S, we get a rectangle with length L times S and width W times S. The area of the scaled rectangle is L times S times W times S. So the area equals L times W times S squared. The fact that the area is multiplied by the square of the scale factor is true for scaled copies of other shapes as well not just for rectangles.
Thank you for watching video 2 of 4 for this unit on scale drawings.